Well, Mark, you got the win, not your best snooker, and Stephen played well, but sometimes you've, you've just got to get the job done, and you did. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I, I didn't feel I played, played fantastic, but I didn't miss ball after ball. Uh, that was our, I was close to playing OK, and then going into the pack and things wasn't really happening, and then sort of stopped your flow of the game, and then you had to play safe again. And It was a tough game, you know. It was always going to be against Stephen as a, as a class act. He looked to me like uh, he wasn't far away from, from playing some very good snooker. Some of his long pots were excellent. He, he looked a bit sharper than, than he has done earlier this season, I thought. Yeah, for sure. And I thought exactly the same. Uh, and I'm sure he's been working hard coming into this tournament, you know. It, you don't really put the time in what he probably should do. Uh, over the last few years, he's probably said that himself. But uh, I'm sure for this one, the Worlds in the UK probably really sticks the hours in. And I think you could see that by the way he was playing. Like you say, he did look a lot sharper. And if he was to beat me tonight, then who knows, he could have gone on and had a good run. Well, back on to you. Uh, it's not the first time you'll have had to play Barry in a big match this season. And uh, such a strange dynamic because you really are genuinely good friends, aren't you? Very close friends, you'd say. Yeah, he's, he's probably one of my best friends on the tour, you know. I mean, I get on with everyone, really. But uh, as far as like people who you go out and have food with, but when we're at tournaments together, most of the time we'll be texting each other to go out for food or, or whatever. So. Uh, and he stays at mine a few times. I've stayed at his when we're practicing. So, yeah, we're, we're good friends. He's a, he's a great lad and a great player. Uh, you've got a great record at the Masters. You've, you've won it three times, but it's been a little while since you've gone deep. And, and I guess being out there with a great atmosphere again at Ali Pali, you, you've got a taste for it and you want to still be in it at the weekend. Of course, yeah. I mean, obviously, walking out there tonight was a great atmosphere. Uh, and even all the other matches when I've watched, it's been a, a great atmosphere as well. So it would have been a shame if I... If I was to lose tonight and, and sat at home watching the rest of it, but that's not the case. I've got another few days here and, and look forward to Friday night against Barry. Do you think this is becoming a venue that almost rivals the Crucible in terms of the atmosphere? Everybody who's won has come in here and said it is just so amazing to be back. Yeah, definitely. I mean, atmosphere-wise, this is probably, it might even better the Crucible, you know, but as far as a venue, for me, because of the history behind everything and, and for what tournament it is, the pinnacle of our sport, the World Championships, it still has to be the Crucible for me. But uh, yeah, this is a very, very close second and probably one of the best venues I've played in when it's full as well.